Have a know you beautiful and gorgeous souls out there. Welcome to the Healing Rainbow. I'm Michelle Rainbow. I love Lori the Warrior. I'm just trying to get my shit together. Yeah, so we said we're bringing you in, you know, and it, it's raw and it's... Real? It's real. Uh, yes. Yes. I'm not feeling it today for a video. I don't feel the creativity. No. Um, I don't know kind of what... I'm feeling like I know I said it feels like my and it's not a bad thing like it, I feel that my mind is just it's just clear right now yeah. so I don't have the thoughts or anything like that um, and that's always a good place to be when you're meditating yes so apparently my mind is on the meditative state <laughs> right now and I like to express and share when I feel that creativity. I feel um, God speaking through me. Because mm -hmm. if I don't have anything to say, I don't say anything. I find in those conversations, those discussions, it's great to have both. It's great to speak and share those words of wisdom, but it's also good to just listen mindful, mindfully. Um, so we're just trying to kind of figure out what we want to share with the healing rainbow right now and the inside of it. Yeah. So we we just turned the camera on and said, "Here we go." And we said, "How about sharing our journey?" Because we haven't done that yet. No, right? I think no, I think. Um, through our groups and stuff, we would, we would share bits and pieces yeah. about who we are. Yes. And we share our journey. Yeah. With them. Yes. So I, I do think that is a great place it is. to start. It is. Um, we'll be sharing more, obviously, throughout all of our videos, um, whether it's our, our personal... Um, diaries per se sharing that yes. the video diaries yes but i think this is a yeah a great space right now where did this all begin what brought you to, to the developing rainbow. the healing rainbow because this yeah. was your brainchild mish yeah this was your love i know well, i know when and i've shared some of this when when damien passed that's where i started going through that transformation and it's it's been a long transformation because there's a lot of things that I realized I need to be making those changes I'm not being authentically me and even at that time I really didn't know what that even meant I started going on this spiritual path I there was a store we had downtown here <clears throat> And I started going in, and I would go in every day. I would have coffee with the ladies, and it's a metaphysical store. And I started attending like the workshops and stuff that they had, that they had there. And one was doing the Reiki courses. Mm -hmm. And I remember reading it about it. I'm like, hmm, oh, I like that. I'm not sure really what it's about, mm -hmm. but something told me that I need to be taking mm -hmm. these courses. So I did. And so I got my my Reiki master certificate, and within within that, it was I think it was the first was the Reiki level one, and I felt a shift inside of me. Mm. I I was on the table, and because we were practicing the hands on healing of everybody that was in the group, and when I was on that table, because it was my turn to receive that healing. My whole body was vibrating. But I, when I open eyes and look at my body, my body was not moving. Mm -hmm. I was shaking like I was literally having convulsions. And I felt myself crying, but no physical tears were coming out. And I felt a piece of something being put back in to, it was either, I. 
I can't figure out if it was my heart or my solar plexus, like right in mm. this area, right here, a piece coming back in. And it's like when you're putting a puzzle or something together, you're trying to maneuver um, an object to fit into something. Like mm -hmm. I felt this twisting and turning and something trying to fit and click inside me. And I, I didn't know what what that was like I had mm. no idea mm. and I know I can share with you what that was now that was a piece of my soul coming back in we have repeat soul fragments that get scattered within our life mm. and that was a part of me that was that was coming back in and that was the start of my journey and from there, yeah, it was still a rough haul. And that, because Damien, he was gone, and I started realizing what our connection was. And our connection was a soul connection, but he was one of my soul mates. He was my best, he was, he was my best friend. And uh, that connection we had, it was, it was a spiritual connection. And so when he was gone on the other side and he finally made it to where he needed to be because he was stuck here for a long time. And so when he finally made it to, like I said, where he needed to be, he took me on journeys within the different dimensions within ourselves. He... He took me to the stars, and well, his twin brother Daniel was with us too in the dream. But in the dream, because we we were on a big bed, all of us sitting on a big bed together while Daniel was sleeping, and we it's like we flew up into into the galaxies, into the universe. But Daniel wouldn't wake up, and knowing what that is now, he was didn't wake up in this life, and he's not here anymore either, as he he mm -hmm. he died too. Um, but within that dream, we were floating with the, among the stars, mm -hmm. and he said, this is us. And that is something I have never, ever forgot, because we are those stars in the, in, in the sky. Mm -hmm. And another dream that he took me to was we were spiraling up, flying up in a spiral, and... Uh, we went into the light realms, and within the light realm, there was it was the angels and archangels and stuff within in that that realm there. And you hear the beautiful singing. You could there was they weren't in form like an, you know a, a body form of them. It was just light. They were they are just light, and went into another part of that light realm that's connected to it. And that was the Godhead. Mm -hmm. And I remember hearing before the term Godhead, obviously I didn't know what it was until when I went in that dream. It's just a fountain of light. Mm -hmm. So you think of a water fountain, but being full of light and light coming through and down. And that's what we're connected to is that, mm -hmm. that, that Godhead. So that light that comes down to us, that's the piece of the spirit that, come, that mm -hmm. flows through us or life force. Mm -hmm. So he, he brought me there too, and he also brought me into the ocean, into the womb of Mother God, the mm. ocean of, of our consciousness, and that's where my mm. soul was being born, mm. and I could feel myself, I was floating, and I was floating to the left, going through all these colors of all these colors of light. Mm -hmm. And I remember like there were symbols, there was designs and stuff like that. And it was making up my soul. So I was in that in that womb being born. And so just from those, you know, few of those journeys that he taught me, I was like, there's something here yeah. that I'm I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to figure out who I am mm -hmm. and what I need to be doing mm -hmm. within this world. What is my purpose? And mm -hmm. that's something I always ask people yeah. within the Healing Rainbow. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Mm -hmm. What is your purpose? Yes. And why are you here? Yes. Um, 
And then, you know, through that, I had ayahuasca and San Pedro journeys there in, um, in Peru. And that has opened up my life, too, where I started realizing that ayahuasca is Mother God. And that's the yin in the, in the Chinese Tao. Mm -hmm. And the yang is the San Pedro. And that's Father God. So that's the heavens. And ayahuasca is the earth. But both mm -hmm. of them together, both of the energies, the masculine and feminine energy right there is one, is God. Mm -hmm. So learning that too, and I'm trying to figure out, well, what do I do with all this information, you know? Mm -hmm. And I still can never kind of, you know, find that. I always it just started knowing, even from as a small age, I wanted to help people. And I was always the one that was trying to fix, rescue everybody. Yep. Mm -hmm. And when I realized, well, I need to do that for me. Mm -hmm. I need to heal me. And I want to help and heal other people who actually want that help yeah. and then yeah. within that journey like it was just challenging it i can say bumpy the, the dark night of the soul so many different times and then daniel was gone and that took another tear out of my heart and then the issues with my my daughter and the struggles that she had throughout her life too um, was a huge part of this and connecting with this that I want to help people. I know I can help people. It's like yes. I know what I need to do and I know that I can help them and I know that I want to, but they need to want that help too. Yes. And if they do, I guarantee that I can help transform them because they will be doing the work, but I'm just that, that guide. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I moved to Edmonton and thought, okay, you know what, I need to, I want to start over, I need to know what I want to do, and still, again, didn't know, stayed in the same field as I'm in, the helping field, the social work field. I'm not a social worker, though, but I'm in the social work <laughs> field. I have my diploma in child and youth care counseling, and I took other schoolings and stuff, and had a lot of experience working with children, youth, and families, mm -hmm. people that have mental health and addictions and so forth, and it brought me on a journey to meeting somebody in my life that I never knew there was a soul connection that was so deep and so strong. There's no beginning and no end to that connection. God brings these people in our life, all those different soul connections, whether it's kindred spirits, twin flames or soulmates and that one person was my is my twin flame and at that time I had no idea what the fuck a twin flame was I just knew there was a soul connection and uh, I started hearing about this twin flame thing within books but it was with spiritual beings and like archangels and stuff they have their twin flames I'm like oh okay that's not has nothing to do with me but then after I met that person and it felt like I like fell off a mountain or something somewhere so high that I just kept falling the entire time. It's like it never stopped and it's like it's still kind of not stopping. Like when you fall in love with somebody, you feel like you're actually mm -hmm. falling. Mm -hmm. And I was doing that the entire time and I couldn't stop no matter how much I tried. And I'm like, but I don't understand this. I could hear, it's like I could hear his thoughts. Like I had that te telepathy with him. And I just knew what he was thinking, what he was feeling, like everything. And I would test it and I would ask. Um, but within that, that person needed to do their healing work. I need to, needed to do my healing work mm -hmm. still. Because I thought, oh, you know what, I'm good. I'm following the things I need to know. Mm -hmm. I was, I'm still was still far, far, far away from that healing journey. He was mirroring things to me that I need to work on. I was mirroring things to him that he needed to work on. But through that entire experience, I felt like he was a part of me. And I'm like, how can somebody be a part of you? I felt like he was actually inside of me, like in my body with me. And I would feel that person like they were actually sitting with me physically. Mm. And I 
they did not understand that. And there's just so much more I could say about that twin flame journey, and I'm not going to say it all today. But that has been my biggest awakening, actually, mm -hmm. was there. Mm -hmm. That was the start of, yeah, me being awake, mm -hmm. me starting my ascension journey mm -hmm. from that right there. And what I've been learning is that we, we are all a piece of God. We are all God. And we are, we are all one in the same. And this world, there's a lot of darkness in this world. And when you're on that ascension path, you're here, you're, it's about remembering who you are, but remembering to reconnect again with God because we've lost that and separated ourselves for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and when we start awakening again it's about that we're, we're connected to, to, to God again and he will be guiding us on our journey now and he helps to because he's that he's the light. So, like I said, the mother and father God as one is God, and it's it's light. Brings that light into us. That's that that life force, that spirit, and we are here to to anchor that light on the earth. That's what you can call them: indigo children, light workers, mm -hmm. star seeds, twin flame souls. We are here to bring that light here on earth. We're here to anchor that love. Like, I always thought, well, why isn't God called love? Because it's unconditional, yeah. divine love, true love. Mm -hmm. And that's what that twin flame relationship is, mm -hmm. is that peace right there. That's mm -hmm. why it's the strongest connection, because I'm right at God with him. Me and him are at that Godhead together. Mm -hmm. We were born together. Mm -hmm. So within, on, that, on this path here, throughout all of that, I wanted to find a way to help people. And I'm like, well, how, you know, how do I do that? I thought, okay, well, I can give Reiki to people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but that's, to me, wasn't enough. Yeah. Right? I'm somebody who likes to do that one-on-one -on -one work with them. And then I got into meditation and doing that meditation. And then now yoga, that yeah. I do yoga and stuff as well. And it's that connection with people building on those on that connection, mm -hmm. making those connections, those bonds and stuff like that. That oneness, as I said. And so trying to bring all of that that I have learned on my path and bringing that into a space where I can share my journey with others mm -hmm. to help them on their own journey of healing and bringing in the different healing modalities in there. So that's where I'm kind of the, you know, the healing yeah. rainbow comes yeah. from. I've always loved rainbows. Yes. Um, and my twin flame said to me, he said, you know, Michelle, your superpower is rainbows. <laughs> so that's where. Yeah, the healing rainbow. The healing rainbow, I guess. Yeah. So not sure where the, my journey is still going at this time, as we, we don't know. No. It's all in the unknown, no. but it's exciting at the same time. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I do know what I'm doing. So yeah. I, have, I know what I'm doing to help people, but I have no idea what I'm doing to get there on this journey to bring the healing yeah. rainbow together. Yeah. So yeah. that's just, you know, piece <laughs> just a small piece of me but mm. thank you your turn thank now. you for sharing mm. you're welcome mm. Mm. it's um it's always so remarkable to hear other people's journey to me um i find i always find inspiration in in other people's stories 